In this video, we check out a few photos and a few video samples shot using the Panasonic S1R and the Sigma 100 to 400 millimeter. I'll put times in the video up on the screen as well as in the description below. In addition to that, I'll put affiliate links to the lens and the lens accessories in case you're interested in checking those out. The Sigma lens is threaded for 67mm filters. It has an autofocus lock button, three focus settings, three optical stabilization settings. It has minimum focus distance of 3.67 to 5.35 feet. There is a lock switch that locks the focal length to 100mm, which helps to prevent the lens from extending while carrying it around, although while carrying around the S1R with the lens attached without using the lock switch, I didn't run into any problems. The focus ring, which is the ring closest to the camera mount point, is very smooth, just as it is with the second ring to change the focal length. Changing the focal length through the range from 100 to 400 millimeter is quite smooth, and I found it easy to hit the desired focal length throughout the range. It comes with a removable rubber ring near the camera mount point, which can be removed when adding the TS-111 tripod collar. We can see here in this photo just how far out the lens extends when at 400 millimeter. With the lens weighing 2.5 pounds, it weighs just a little more than the S1R camera body. I would recommend considering the TS-111 if you are planning on using the camera and lens on a tripod. Also you would need the Sigma UD-11 USB dock for the type of lens mount you are using. In my case the UD-11 for a Leica L mount. This allows you to upgrade the firmware, which you do need to do with this lens. Here I have a few photos shot with the Sigma. We can see what the lens is capable of when attached to a 47 megapixel Panasonic S1R. So far, I'm very happy with the sharpness of the lens when paired with the S1R. Here are a few video clips shot at 4K 60p. Unfortunately, I inadvertently overexposed the video clip so that it is my fault, not the problem with the lens or the S1R. In a moment, we'll see two clips again shot with the lens and S1R where the video wasn't overexposed. But these clips, of the dock across the river can still give us an idea of sharpness from this lens. This next video clip was shot to show stabilization and autofocus. Lens stabilization plus the S1R's IBIS. I'm holding the camera in heavy wind with gusts ranging from 15 to 20 miles per hour. So as you can imagine, I'm getting blown around quite a bit. And now for autofocus test. As we can see, autofocus hit on the bird at 400 millimeter. So far, I'm happy with the sharp photos and video I get with this lens. Hopefully this video helped. 
Thanks for checking out the video and don't forget to subscribe.